Welcome back to another episode of Life in the SHL. Uh, we have a big Champions League playoff game tomorrow. It's quarterfinals against Frölunda. So we play tomorrow's Tuesday, we play tomorrow, and then next Tuesday. And the combined score of those two games is determines who goes to the next round. I'll be backing up tomorrow. And today we just had a practice day and the CHL film crew was here. So I did a little bit of a arena tour. So I'll link that up. I think it's on this side here. For the rest of the day, just gonna relax. Um, gonna play some Warzone with some of the guys on the team. Probably gonna do some vision training. Uh, you know, just relax and gather some energy for tomorrow. So that's about it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. Specialist. Not really. Did I get him? Oh. I'm terrible at this game. Dinner time, and I read online, and everything I read online is 100% true, by the way. Uh, Tom Brady's pregame meals are just veggies and some protein. So right here I got some veggies obviously and then a vegan bolognese. So we'll see how this is gonna work and the next vlog is gonna premiere in about an hour. So I'm gonna eat this, relax a bit, probably watch some Yellowstone and then do the live premiere and the live chat with you guys. Good morning, it's game day. Uh, just about to head to morning skate and today's plan is to, uh, you know, the normal morning skate and then gonna do some extra drills since I'm not playing today. And then uh, come home, relax, still prepare. You never know what's gonna happen. So um, come home, relax, get ready for the game, head to the rink and hopefully get a, get a big win against Freyland. Nice and warm out today. Oh, beautiful. Not much going on around here during the days. Uh, days are getting pretty repetitive and it doesn't help that it is like negative 14 Celsius out. That's like seven Fahrenheit. So kind of forced to stay inside and a lot of my focus is on recovery as well. Rest and recovery, very important. So um, when I get back from practice, I kind of just want to hang out. I either watch some shows and t movies on TV, um, catch up on editing the videos or playing some a little bit of video games. So that's about it. Or play the piano that's that's back here. So, But my wife and daughter, Whitney and Fox, are coming in two weeks to spend the Christmas here. So then you'll actually see a little bit of other humans as well on the vlog. But like I said earlier, got to be ready if anything happens during the game or before the game. So just going to relax, watch some TV, trying to be warm with the with the fire here. Kind of go through the routines that I have on game days, even though I'm not starting. So I'll be ready to go and be as professional as I can and a good teammate.
Linda Gothenburg into yet another Champions Hockey League quarterfinal, this time the first leg at Lexans, the debutante this season in European hockey. First period action, Lexans, the early chance and the early goal scored by Max Verano. 34 seconds later, for Linda strikes back through Patrick Carlson. Later on in the first period, another chance, this time Olsen, the defenseman furthest forward. Penalty forthcoming. With the puck left alone to Bixel, he snaps one past Tompkins and then holsters the stick. Chichi Rodriguez golfing style to make it 2-2. Beautiful goal for the 17-year-old Swiss defenseman. Lexan's not taking their chances, but for Lunda taking theirs. And then the Anders Grunland shot, Carlson. And then only 69 seconds after that, Elmer Söderblom. After 60 minutes, the playoff series is 5 to Frölunda, and that's where we continue next Tuesday. So it's a combined score for the both two games. Tomorrow's just a practice day. Get ready for Thursday's SHL game against Frölunda. So I gotta get some sleep. Get ready for Thursday. SHL game day against Frölunda. Here's my pre-game lunch. Got some fried tofu, veggies, rice. Get me fueled up for the game. But ever since I came to Europe, I've been kind of trying to find my game. And I mean, it's December now, so it's not, <laughs> not a great thing to say that I'm still trying to find my game. But obviously, every day you're trying to find what suits you the best and what kind of game you want to play. And sometimes I feel like I'm almost too calm and too controlled because some, some of those things are my strengths. And especially here in Europe, when it's a bigger ice sheet, the game sometimes slows down in the corners. So you kind of want to save some energy. You can't be on high alert the whole time. So on a day like today, I kind of want to push a little more of the aggressiveness and explosiveness, I guess, but not get bringing it to the Team Thomas level. So trying to find a good common ground between obviously playing super fast and getting to my spots quick and you know playing at my speed not the game speed and always beat the plays and be explosive while still remaining the calmness and controlness when needed obviously so I'm not doing too much so 
that's the challenge for today. Kind of what I'm looking forward to is just to play a little more on high alert, if that makes sense. That might sound a little weird, but hope you guys understand. Just kind of play super fast and really battle for every puck, like I should. But obviously, some sometimes the game is is different, and sometimes being controlled help you make the saves. And obviously, that's I like to think that's one of my strengths. But just trying to push myself a little bit today and. Uh, be very aggressive. But I got about an hour before my nap, so just gonna relax, watch some Netflix, nap for about an hour and a half, eat some food, and then it's showtime. Grisson, av med pucken. Här får ändå en möjlighet här. Det är Verbino! Retur! Och Rubin har båda! Patrik bra tekat. Harry Lärs prövar han själv. Han spelar för styrning! Och vad elegant är när Joel Lundqvist svinklar in 1-0 Frölunda. Och när han får så där mycket yta, Ryan Lärs, ja då bommar han ju inte passningen. Så enkelt här är det ju bara. Kan det kanske vända, men då är det ett försvarsarbete i mitten av Spacek som ger Patrik Karlsson den här chansen för Spacek och då är det 2-0 för Lunda. Och på nytt en, ett slarvigt läxans pass som ger den här spelvändningen. Patrik Karlsson fintar skott. Ja. När offside, Friberg byter kant för Patrik Karlsson. Spacek framför buren och Kaski så med en mycket viktig räddning med Lärs. Spacek framför buren. Joel Lundqvist för Söderblom, Jens Olsson, Lärs, Spacek, Söderblom. Och uppsan, den satt i den vita handsken den. Tull upp på skridskorna för Ryan Lärs. Lärs för Jens Olsson och Kaski som en, en viktig benparad. Och Söderblom eh, grejade där för Filip Johansson som spelar galet i sin tur. Roma. Här står nu Roma från nära håll och då har Leksand gjort mål. Lin har avslutet och retur från Kaskiso, där är Sundström och där är också pucken någonstans. Fortsätt spela och sen är det mål, ja visst! Frölunda gör 3-1! Det ska ringas, meddelar också Mikael Nord. Nord och Österberg in i sekretariatet, här har ni den kaosartade situationen. Anledningen till att man inte eh, bedömde det som mål var att det var målvaktsinterference på Johan Sundström. Spacek för Patrik Karlsson och Frölunda gör 3-1! Här har ju Leksand pucken helt under kontroll. Det är Lundqvist som spelar rakt på Spacek. Roma vet inte riktigt vad han ska göra. Spelar för Kato, Kato, Verino. Roma kan inte skjuta direkt. Kato kan skjuta direkt och samma gör det! Matt Kato 2-3. Kommer här med det här läget kanske för Joel Lundqvist. Kaskisos retur går rakt ut i banan och ger Stefan Elliott en möjlighet. Och ny retur, Ran Morsak, Lundqvist. Oleri och så skjuter han i stolpen. Här kommer Rosselli Olsen. Returen studsar, hittar en ny ägare som är där borta för Edvinsson. Femspel för hemmalaget. Härstad får inte ta på den där Edvinsson. Och för Lasu, prickskjuter Lasu från långt, 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 långt håll och den går in i mål. 4-2 loss against Frölunda with an empty netter. Um, but I felt great to be honest, but it feels weird to uh, kind of talk about my own game after the the team loses obviously it's easier when when you win but just kind of like I talked about before the game just executing that game plan and I actually felt really good very energetic um, and I was able to find that balance between being controlled and calm and then explosive and 
I was reading the play well, and whenever there was a play that they made, like just being aggressive and explosive, like got me there on time, and then it helped with whatever the next play was, or just allowed me to uh, focus on the shot and make the save. So I think it was I think it was the step in the right direction, and I definitely just need to play like that every game. So it's easy. We've struggled with the uh, starts of the games a little bit, so obviously we were down. Uh, two nothing. I think after the first period, they scored. The first goal was on the power play. They kind of got the puck and on the after a face off, and guy was creeping back door. And I have to respect the shot because obviously if he shoots from there and beats me, it's a it's a bad goal. And but I was kind of able to see that the guy creeping down, and even took a little step back, but it wasn't enough. He made a nice pass, and uh, Lundqvist was able to kind of chip it over my pad, so almost did, did the best I could there. Um, second one was uh, probably the the one that I maybe would want back, but it was a guy coming down after our turnover, and uh, he kind of made a, not like a fake fake shot, but he made a move, passed it back a little bit, and the guy one time did. Uh, he he had a, shot a good shot, but uh, I kind of, bit on the first one and I was out, out far and um, you know I mean if the first guy shoots I make a save and it's no big deal and even if it like in any other scenario the the second guy shoots it and I make a save and then no harm no fall but uh, he ended up shooting a good shot off the one timer that beat me but and then in the second one we started off with a four minute penalty kill and we killed that off and I feel like we got some got some energy from that and but then we kind of just had a tough turnover and they got a shot in the slot and he bounced off our D's leg and our other D's chest and went in so um, that was that was a tough pill to swallow and that ended up being the game winner we we got two goals but uh, made a little push at the end but it is what it is. Obviously, tough start to the week, losing twice to the same team, but we have another game against Fariestad tomorrow on the road, so hoping to uh, end the week on a high note, but that will be on the next episode, and the big news, I guess, is that Whitney and Fox will be here, I guess, in about 11 days from today, and I'm filming it, uh, and yeah, just make sure to subscribe to Whitney's brand new YouTube channel. There's going to be a lot of a lot of exciting stuff coming up and kind of her side of the whole hockey life. So the link will be in description. So make sure to show Whitney some love as well. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Big shout out to the channel members. Uh, there's some new merch. So check that out below. You find all the links to all the good stuff. And make sure to subscribe, ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on anything, all the cool videos I got coming up. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next episode.